Okay, the sun's right in my face, sorry. Uh, but anyway, I started this conversation. <laughs> my phone's blowing up like crazy. Okay, guys, so to start this video, let's talk about what brought this restaurant to mind. This is a restaurant I've been trying to film for two years. I know I've met the owners, they're nice people. Um, they're, before they were even opening, when there was like a grand opening two years ago, I think it was two years ago, maybe a year and a half. But anyway, so we talked. They said, hey, come on down and talk, you know. Just you can your stroke. Re oh, yeah, it was right for the stroke, huh? Mm -hmm. Anyway, so um, bottom line is they got delayed and delayed and del city politics and permits and everything else before they opened. So they didn't open for a while, and I never got around to filming them. So then I just moved on. And I really, really had my heart set on filming this place. Now this place is called Blossom Cellar Door. And they're, so from what I remember, they were supposed to be really big on beer. I don't know if they are. We're gonna go inside and check it out. People are trying to show up, so we gotta get in there quick. But um, let's go, let me show you the front of it real quick. So they have a cellar door craft cavern and Blossom Thai Lao cuisine. Oh, that sounds like two businesses in one. I love that. Well, let's go inside and see what it looks like. Okay, guys. So in that doorway is the bar. And that's all their beer taps. Look at that. A huge setup on that wall there. And then over there is the kitchen. Thank you. And this is where we're sitting, over here. Obviously, we got here before other people which is nice. Okay, this is a really tiny menu. What are angel wings? Larb, oh my gosh, I don't even know what these names are not. Nam Sod, what is Larb? Freshly minced salad, protein your choice, chicken, little popcorn, and veggie, full club, with garlic, ginger, cilantro, lime, everything you like. I don't know what that is. Angel wings, jumbo chicken wings, stuffed with seasoning, minced chicken. Oh, I'm gonna try the angel wings. Fried rice, drunken fried rice, curry fried pad thai. We'll be back over here in the Okay, so remember how I said at Mexican restaurants, you can always tell it's a good restaurant if the sauce is good. Well, this is a Thai restaurant. You can always tell if the pad thai is good. You can always tell then the whole restaurant is good if that makes sense so they got pad thai boy they got a lot of stuff there's some more i love tom ka that's good it's like a comfort soup it's really good and then Wow, I'll show you when it gets to the table. I don't know what we're having yet. These are cocktails. cocktails and drinks, cocktails. They've got menus just for their drinks and then menus just for their food. So that's what it is. That's what it looks like. Blossom uh, Thai she's Lao cuisine. They're big in beers, she's, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, she's really big on her beers. Like this whole booklet, it's all beers. There's nine pages of it. Nine pages of beers? Probably beer and wine, but yeah, she got them. Oh my goodness. Pop. She's got. She's she. They are masters here. They know, they know the different flavors and the different makings of each beer and everything. They've broken it up for you. Oh well. See. The art of darkness. The art of darkness. Yeah, that that's a major a beer menu. Well, I'm just gonna hang out over here where the food is. Well, look at this, guys. They gave us a bottle of water on the table. It's nice. I love that. When they bring you a bottle of water. That doesn't happen in many places. So this is pretty quiet right now because seven o'clock is when everybody comes out and it's a beautiful day today. So we're probably not gonna see a lot of people today. Hey honey. Hey Tammy. There's a glass of water right above your head. Now what did you say it was for? Good luck because there's another one over there. They have another one over there, a glass of water. I don't know. Does anybody know why they have a glass of water just sitting as decor? It's probably something I don't understand or I don't have knowledge of. 
but it looks like it's part of the decorations. Okay, so I'm not gonna go around the room and film everybody, but every table is full, and it just, it took five minutes, it took a lot. Like, everybody's coming, I'm telling you. Well, so we get to seven o'clock, closer, everybody wants to eat. I don't know what it is about Tennessee. Hasn't it been that way since we lived here? Ever since we've been here, seven o'clock, everybody shows up. So, every table's full now, the bar is full, everything's full. This is crazy, huh? All right, guys. So these are these. We are used to these being called spring rolls, but these are, but these are fresh rolls. What are spring rolls? Fried. Oh, they're fried. Well, these are not fried. So we're gonna give them a try. They're full of vegetables. And they got the little shrimp. And they have a shrimp in there. See? Ah, uh, look at it. they're pregnant with shrimp. So what are you gonna do? You gonna taste it? Go ahead, sweetie. Is sauce worth it or not? Yeah? Is that like a peanut sauce? Probably. Yeah, they did a good job. They, they wrapped them nice and tight. They're fully loaded. And uh, that's called fresh rolls. So that's the appetizer we got. Okay, what did, what did you order again? It's called barb. Bar. Like it's like chicken. Kind of like a lettuce wrap. Yeah. But you know, we yeah. get. They got lots of cilantro in there, huh? Yeah. That's like your favorite ingredient. Yeah. Some onions. Yeah, it's got some vegetables. It's like a healthy plate right there. Isn't that any good? Yeah. You like it? Mm -hmm. Well, I got this pho. So I'm going to take some of that in a second. I'm going to let it get it all mixed up and then um, I'll try it out. Okay, so my wife's dish, she ordered a, one number, you did a one, right? She ordered a one. It's an eight level between one to five. And she says the one's spicy. And I'm like, because I ordered a two on my pho. And she ordered a one. So anyway, I'm going to try mine out right now. All right, here we go. Let's give it a try. One's nothing, because that's a two, and that ain't nothing either. <laughs> I don't know what you're complaining about, honey. Is it spicy still? Burn my lips. Hold on. Mmm. That's amazing. Okay, guys, there's so much to say. All right, so everything was amazing. They've got an amazing chef here. Whoever's cooking this Thai food, I'm so stoked that Hendersonville has uh, Thai food that just off the charts. I have to say that the pho was better tasting than anything I've tasted here in Tennessee since I've lived here. I've had pho about five, six different places. This is the best flavor. Now, I will say the they went a little heavy on the pasta that they threw in there, but I didn't eat that. I just drank the broth. And next time I'll order without the pasta, they said it was possible to do that. So, um, that's it, but their their flavors are off the charts. Guys, the fresh rolls, the, um, what Tammy had was kind of like a lettuce, it's called Larb, L-A-R-B, but it was like a lettuce wrap. Uh, congratulations, Blossom. You guys definitely blossom. So check it out, show them some love, and let them know you saw it on the show, okay? Take care, see you in the next episode, bye-bye.